Hello and welcome. This is Vanessa Karaulich, and today we're going to talk about the math behind Patreon. So, what is Patreon? First, I want to go through what is Patreon, who owns Patreon, how much money, and how many subscribers does Patreon have. And then from there, I want to show you my Patreon. I love podcasts in Spanish, and I have been in Patreon and using Patreon since 2019. And I feel that this platform, I am so addicted to it. I love it. And today I just want to talk about it and tell you what I feel, what I like about it. I'm going to tell you the shows that I watch. And that way you can see how Patreon works. And maybe you might want to then be a creator and, you know, have your own Patreon. Or maybe you want to, you know, once you understand Patreon, you say, you know what, maybe I want to support my favorite artist. Let me just see if they have Patreon. So let's first start with Patreon, but let me go ahead and share the screen and let's take a look really quick of the Wikipedia of uh, Patreon. Now, I first wanted to see who owned Patreon and here we know that the company started by musician Jack Conte and developer Sam Jam. Now, when I click on Jack Conte, maybe Jack Conte or I'm not sure. And look at this. He's 36 years old. This is Jack. And Jack basically felt the need of having a, a space where he could just make some money out of his YouTube videos. And this is how Patreon was basically created. Here they say, and they explain what is Patreon. So what is Patreon? So according to Wikipedia, Patreon is an American membership platform that provides business tools for content creators to run a subscription service. It helps creators and artists to earn a monthly income by providing rewards and perks to their subscribers. And for example, I, I have four patrons and they range in price. You can have, uh, I think the artists can basically put, um, I think minimum is two or three dollars. I'm not sure. Because I'm I don't have Patreon, but I, I saw like I read it someplace, someplace else, but basically you you can do like five dollars, two dollars, ten dollars, twenty-five dollars, whatever you feel, you know, you want to charge to to your consumers, to put it away. Now listen to this. Patreon charges a commission of five to twelve percent of creators' monthly income in addition to payment processing fees. So if you add like payment processing fees and we put maybe like a 1%, that is like, you know, between six to 13%. I'm not gonna do the math for that, but you can see that when you are a creator, this is the price that you have to pay. Now from here, I wanna show you how fast Patreon grew and the project basically went from a musician saying, I see a deficiency in the system, let me fix it. And he just became a millionaire. Not only, uh, not only so much about the money and all that, which is nice, but the thought that he, he thought about something in, from his heart and it just came out so well done that now, you know, all, a lot of people are there benefiting uh, from. So let's go, let's go ahead and read the history of Patreon. So in 2013, the company raised $2.1 million from a group of venture capital, um, capitalists and angelist investors. So in 2014, Patreon raised a further 50 million in Series A round. This is basically um, the, when you first do your IPO, the common stock, to put it that way. And not the common stock, I'm sorry, the, um, the first series of stocks after the common stock and common stock options issues too. But anyhow, continuing, led by, you know, all of these ventures. Then from there, look what happens to Patreon. They say here, they sign up more than 125,000 patrons in their first 18 months. I am surprised YouTube did not think of this before, you know, especially that we all create things in YouTube. So I felt like this guy was kind of like, um, like a Facebook thinker, you know? He said, well, how can I make this and capitalize it? Love it. And then from here, look at this. In January, 2017, Patreon announced that it had sent over 100,000 million to creators since its inception. Um, obviously now, um, I, I'm, 
I think like everyone that I, that I, that I can talk and I say like, Oh, do you like Patreon? Most people say like, Oh, I like Patreon. I feel like Patreon is becoming a, a good wave, especially now with the pandemic that now everything is virtual. And if you want to create content, you know, it, it's great. I feel it's great. Now let's talk about the business model. And then uh, we say that they charge between five to 12%. We talk about that. And this is the stats as May, uh, okay, as of May 2017, the average pledge pay patron was around $12. And a new patron pledge to a creator every 5.5 seconds. Wow. Let me go ahead and now um, show you my patron. Uh, I got rid of my Hulu. I only have Netflix and YouTube Premium. Netflix and YouTube Premium. Yes, that's it. Oh, and I have Amazon Prime because obviously it's like you, you need to have water on Amazon Prime. It's awful to say that, but yes. However, I, during the pandemic, I was like, Ugh, I don't want to, you know, watch more TV anymore. And I just want to actually start, I want to listen and I want to listen now something different, maybe something in Spanish. And this is the best thing um, that I found, Patreon. So then let me show you my Patreon. So my Patreon basically is um, for podcasters and these are Venezuelan and I love the four of them. I'm very active in Patreon. Look at this, 201 comments, 239 likes. I love it. I'm like, 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 comment, 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 comment. This is my guilty pleasure, <laughs> Patreon. Valera, which I love this is in the okay one of the advantages to have the patron for led is that you get like an early release so at 10 o'clock i think i don't remember the time but it's usually in the morning and everyone is drinking coffee and he's drinking coffee and i don't know it feels really good because it feels like everyone is like doing the same thing in patreon usually people are cleaning doing things that morning people do so i feel like the time thing was pretty neat the other thing that I like about um, blah, blah, blah is the community is super cool. They are very, uh, it's very diverse. There's artists and they are, uh, you, you know, designers. There's like a chef. There's like different people and it has become like um, a place where I'm looking forward to, to you know, to, to see other people's comments and to hear what they have to say because, one thing about Let's Patron is that he ha he gives the opportunity to the pa you know to the patrons of for us to say like oh can you talk about this and you know basically have like a brainstorming um, session with him which I feel that that's pretty cool. Nos reiremos de esto. I like them. This is the one that I consume the least, but it's not because I don't like it. I just don't have. I feel like. It, um, nos reiremos de esto. I like it like, like a dessert. Once in a while, I enjoy them and, you know, I always put like and the whole thing. But I feel that um, with Jose, this is like an injection of energy. You go like, and that's pretty cool. And because you pay the $8 per month because he has different tiers, I was able to be um, in his podcast. He has like a, like a contest and it's like a whole process, pretty cool. And I was basically in his show, and this is all because I was part of Patreon, which is pretty cool. The orangutans. I love the orangutans because, what can I tell you about the orangutans? I just love them. This is a, a couple, Christina and Mike. And basically the orangutans, what they do is they talk about love, they are like, he's a photographer and she's also a photographer, but they do everything, design, and they are very famous because they have this, this experience where women go and, you know, they can have really like nice pictures where they feel beautiful. Obviously, they're very sexy and, you know, um, I'm not going to say that they look beautiful and of course, you know, they're all in bikinis and stuff, but. I, I feel that's pretty cool because that motivates me to be like, I got to get my ass to the gym <laughs> to look like that. So I watch them too because I love Christina. She's so sweet. She looks like a mermaid in my eyes and she's so girly. And I like that because I need to be, I feel that I, I want to be more girly and I like that. I don't know. She's always like showing plants and flowers and 
she just reminds me like a mystical creature, like she's not real because she has like beautiful white hair. And then her husband, Mike Tan, he is um, a really very, very nice philosophical person. I enjoy when he, you know, makes this critical thinking path and he goes from point A to point C. And he talks about things, everything from experience and from his heart. And I feel that I have been in a world where there are many scholars and they all speak from theories sometimes. But when, when I hear Mike, I like that he speaks from the experience. So I think when you have either theory or experience, you are a professional in both ways and you might come up with the same conclusion. Wonderful is when, you know, you can talk about experience and then, you know, back up that with the science which he does talk a lot about it and he he seems for what i listen that he reads he reads a lot and he's credible to me so i'm gonna say that i like the orangutans a lot and i enjoy a lot watching their podcast and i hope that one day maybe um we can do a math podcast with the orangutans that would be awesome talk about money marriage and anyhow i'm like now drooling over that Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this mini podcast about Patreon and I hope to see you soon. This is Vanessa Graulich and have a math day.